Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm great. That's good. I have Vincene in the car with me. Vincene Verdun Cox. Yes. And it was very funny because the very first supercharger that I stopped at on this trip, I ran into her and her husband that were charging their car in Casa, Casa, Casa Grande, Arizona. That's right. And now we're in Silverthorne, Colorado. This is what, the third time I've seen you guys? Yeah, or I think it was River, was it, uh, we, we, we met once before at the mall, Mesa Mall. Right, okay. And uh, in, I guess it was Nevada or something like that. No, uh, it wasn't Nevada. Utah? Utah. Utah. Yes, yes. So we met again in Utah. And I said, if I run into you again on this trip, I'm going to give you an interview. So here I am. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Right. And the reason that I wanted to have her on is because she told me a very cool story about what she's doing. And they're driving um, a kind of across... Cross country. It's kind of yeah. like a bucket list thing that yeah. we kind of decided that, oh, I don't know. We made a bucket list because we were about to retire. So what kinds of things do you want to do? And one of them was to go and cross country and actually see this country. We travel a lot, but like most people in the 21st century, we fly. Right, right. And as it turns out, this trip has been so amazing, Steve, because we have missed so much by flying. This is an amazing, amazing country. Oh, and yeah. We just would not have seen it the way that we've seen it. And the people that we've encountered along the way. Um, I mean, I, I, I just have a different perspective on who Americans are yeah. based on, on well, this trip. Yeah, and tell me about, because you, this is what you're, you just turned a certain age. I just turned 61, and uh, I, I've been in the South many times. But I drove to the South only one other time, um, or through the South, and that was when I was uh, six years old. Right. And when I was six years old, I was going South with my mother and father, of course. Mm -hmm. And my mother is from Mississippi, and my father is from Louisiana, and so we went through both states. And in the course of getting there, of course, went through, I guess, Alabama or Georgia. Right. And, um, and so... The experience then at six years old is not the kind of experience that would encourage you to ever do it again. Uh, because um, I, I'm not even sure where we were because I was six. And, sure. and the memory is that my father, we were driving through at night because you didn't, you didn't stay overnight. You drove through. I mean, if you were African American, there was no place to stay. Wow. And so we were driving through. Um, and uh, we were driving through some county at night and we were stopped by the police and, uh, and the policeman took our entire family and there, this is a family with, with seven kids. Wow. So we were in a station wagon, seven kids, two adults, there are nine of us. And they took us into the police station. I remember spending the night in the police station and the thing that happened that was wrong was that my father was a black man driving through uh, that county at night and sure. it wasn't permitted. And so we waited in the car for him until morning when they let him go. Very traumatic experience for me as a six-year-old. Now there are many, many things I remember about that trip. I remember outhouses. I remember, <laughs> I remember yeah. cows and horses. I remember <laughs> that even in the cities that my relatives did not have indoor plumbing and that was a very common thing in the 60s in Louisiana and Mississippi and stuff. So I remember a lot of things, but I remember that yeah, as sure. a traumatic memory. And, and so this time, okay, so we're driving through and uh, my husband and I are like, oh man, okay, we're about to stop in La Place, Louisiana. Wonder what this is gonna be like. And so we're both anticipating that there might be an issue, right? No way, we get in La Place, Louisiana, which is like 50 miles or something, less than 50 miles from New Orleans. And it's the same thing no matter where we've been, whether it was Alabama, Georgia, wherever, we're greeted at the desk most of the time by people of color. Yeah. The people working the desk are African Americans, people of, of Hispanic descent, many of them from Mexico, some of them from Costa Rica or South America. And so 
we just we have not experienced anything other than just warm welcome friendly there's not been a racial incident now, i i'm not i teach race law <laughs> Oh, so dear. I am not beginning to suggest that there are no issues of race in this country. But of I course. can say that 50 miles outside of an urban center in Columbus, Ohio, I am more likely to have a racial incident than anywhere that I've gone in the South, in the hinterlands. Hmm. In other words, you don't have to be in a city in the South. You just, to, to run into diversity all kinds of people black people hispanic people yeah. you run into all kinds of people throughout the south whereas if i get 20 miles outside of columbus ohio where i live people live their entire lives and never ever even and, and they'll tell you oh yeah i lived in some little community chillicothe and i never had an interaction with a black person Wow. Now, that's the kind yeah. of feedback you get in places like Columbus, Ohio. But I don't think that can happen in Louisiana. I don't think that can happen in Alabama because every place we went, I don't care whether the population was 10,000 or 200,000, there were there was diversity cool. for people, all yeah. kinds of people. So that's, I don't know. It's a cool trip yeah. for a lot of reasons. And I do want to mention also, Steve, you're in a Tesla. We're in a Tesla. We keep running to each other in these Tesla charging <laughs> stations. Absolutely, I know. But Tesla helped inspire this trip. Oh, yeah. It really did for us and yeah. for you. Oh, of course. I never would have done this with in a regular car. And I'm not saying that we never would have done it in a regular car, but I am saying that the reason that we're doing it now when we're doing it is because we got a Tesla last year. Right. And right. so... The whole idea of making a map across the country that touches on all these superchargers right, and the whole right. idea of getting over on this whole economic system of four dollars a gallon gas or <laughs> two fifty you know, you're get you know, I, I always felt like there's something wrong with this. Yeah. And now it's like, okay, we've already paid for all the gas that we're ever going to use. We paid for it when we bought our Tesla. Right. And so let's just go. Yeah. And it frees you up because you don't, it's like, it's just as cheap to go across the country as it is to go nowhere. Yeah. I mean, and you know, we right. make jokes about it all the time. It's kind of like when we, we've gone across town and then we forgot something. So we got to go back and get it. And then it's kind of like, well... The only thing we're losing is time. You're not, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you're yeah. not losing gas. It's yeah. like, yeah. oh wow, that's gonna really cost us to go back across yeah. town. It's kind of and a you're like, joke. darn, I have to drive the Tesla. Right, because it is such a great drive. <laughs> it's it is a roadster. Oh yeah, it really is. Yeah, it's a road car. It's so smooth, and it's so easy. And we have like you the panoramic view roof, so we open it up and. We feel like we're in a convertible when the weather is warm, although the weather isn't warm very often up here. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I mean, in these mountains, it's amazing that um, we just left Vail and Breckenridge. Yeah. Um, we ski. So we've been in Vail and Breckenridge and places like that in the wintertime. Yeah. I had no idea that it was this cold, 40 degrees and snowy <laughs> in, the summer. in the summer. I mean, I, well, I feel like the end of May is summer. Yeah. I guess technically it's spring, right. but they don't know it's spring here yet. So, <laughs> uh, but that's part of the experience of of America. I mean, of ex of this cross country trip that right. you learn things like. There's an 80 mile per hour speed limit in Utah. Whoever heard of that? <laughs> and that, and that, um, you know, oh, it's seeing the there? That's yeah, great. there's okay. yeah, there are parts of it where it's 80. And in, I was amazed when it was 75 in Texas. Okay, yeah, I'm used to 75 in in Arizona. That's what it is. Yeah. But. Well, I'm used to the highest in Ohio is 70. Oh, okay. And Michigan, because I'm from Michigan. Artist, my husband is from Long Island. We we live in Columbus, Ohio. I teach at Ohio State. There's no way we've experienced 75 miles per hour speed <laughs> limit, much less 80. Yeah, so nice. Uh, nice. so it's it's been uh, it's been really nice. I will say in this cross country tri trip, 
the most amazing thing, the most amazing thing I saw, I mean, it was breathtaking to me, was the Grand Canyon. Oh, yeah. It's just absolutely yeah, you can't awesome. Yeah. I mean, and I saw the Meteor Crater, and I saw Devil's Canyon, and I've seen national parks, but boy, oh boy. I mean, I walked into the Grand Canyon, and I was like, oh, man. And you can look at pictures all day long. But when you actually like walk up there the first time, I mean, you, you, if you're not impressed, then it took my breath. Something's wrong. I, mean, I couldn't speak. Yeah. For a while. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I was like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> it I was great. It, it was That's great. Awesome. So, um, so yeah, so we started in Columbus, went east, went south, went west. Now we're back up, going north and. 70 East is on our in route home, but we're still over a thousand miles from home. So we've been at this for a month. <laughs> nice. And we'll probably have another week of it. Good, good. So, well, and it was nice meeting you, and we just yeah. might run into you again. I huh? know, I know. Who I knows? Know. <laughs> well, hey, it was great. Thanks so much for uh, spending a few minutes with me, and uh, have a great rest of the trip. Right, good. All right, take care. <laughs> bye bye. Bye.